Hello there. Have you noticed any change, any changes at all in the performance of your advert recently? This is to confirm that there has been a few changes on Facebook ads, especially on the platform, right? Facebook on their own part has also removed some interest targetings and some details, okay? And recently, advert has not been performing greatly. Many business owners have been affected, many advertisers, many marketers have been affected. But what can you do to improve it? performance of your advert that's why i'm making this video to share with you seven ways seven things you need to start implementing this minute like right now that is going to greatly improve the performance of your facebook advert henceforth hi and welcome to my channel my name is courage if you are new to this channel you are welcome i'll ask you to please give this video a thumbs up right just like this video so that more people get to see my video if you'd like to see more of such content consider subscribing to my channel and also turn on the bell icon so you'll be among the first people to get notified whenever i publish videos now in this video i'm going to share with you tips that are going to help you improve your advert performance and get more results and more value for your money whenever you run adverts on facebook okay these are tips that are going to improve your advert greatly and give you better results so stay with me let's get started so number one is that you have to create a good ad sometimes when people come to me and say that their advert is not performing rightly or is not performing well it's simply because these people most of the time they are not creating a very good ad okay so you need to learn how to create an advert that can capture and retain people's attention all right you need to create, create advert that your audience will find interesting and they will engage with your advert, okay? If your audience find your advert interesting and highly engaging, one thing it's going to do is that it's going to reduce your cost, the spend, it's going to reduce the cost of your advertising and it's going to greatly improve on the results of your advert. Some of the adverts that I see and I review, some of these adverts are bland, they are poor and they are poorly done. The creatives are poorly done and so you don't expect to get a great result when your advert is not a good one okay so before you complain that your advert is not working well you should be sure that you are creating a good advert create an advert that can capture people's interest all right you can interrupt their pattern it's called pattern interruption can your advert make people stop scrolling on facebook and listen to you can your videos make people stop scrolling and watch it? The graphics you are using, the image you are using, is it captivating enough? Can it capture people's interest? You know that people do, people do not come on Facebook to buy stuff. People come on Facebook to learn, to entertain, to get entertained, to gist, to catch crews, you know, to catch up on old times, to gist and to, you know, just follow up on trends, discuss with friends, uh, comment watch some videos just have fun people come some people come on facebook to cool off to have fun so if you are going to interrupt their pattern you have to do it creatively if you are going to capture their attention with your advert then you have to be creative in your ad you have to create a good ad sometimes the advert must not look like an ad in fact if your advert does not look like an ad it is better that way we are going to get to that point right it is better that way so that you're able to capture these people's attention and it's not enough to capture attention. You must also be able to retain the attention and be able to convert this attention into a prospect, a potential buyer, okay? So henceforth, before you publish your ad, before you even put your ad out there, make sure that this advert is good enough, that this advert, if it's a video, make sure it is something that people will find interesting and highly engaging, all right? Let's go to the next one, please. You should begin to use more of videos on your adverts. Take it or leave it. Videos are becoming the main mainstream stuff right now. See the rise of Facebook, TikTok, YouTube is making uh, YouTube shorts to allow you to create more videos, YouTube stories to share more videos. Facebook has introduced Reels on the Facebook platform. Why? Because they've seen that short videos are beginning to take over. Short videos are beginning to interrupt the pattern. People are beginning to embrace making you know, vertical videos with their phones and stuff like that. Videos are becoming more viral and more, more of the in thing, of the mainstream stuff now. Okay? So you need to spend more time creating highly engaging short videos. 
and you're going to use these videos for your adverts. Okay? So you need to learn how to make short videos that fit into the social media culture. That culture of, you know, if you follow stuff on TikTok well, you see the transitioning, the creative part of different kind of videos, the transition, the ideas that are behind some of these videos. Right? These videos does not even look like adverts. But yes, people are promoting stuff using such videos. Most times you watch these videos, you find it interesting and you wonder how did these people do this thing? How are they doing it? Learn how they are doing it so that you can also do it for your own business and get better results at it, okay? Short videos, creative ones with different effects and different transition helps to create pattern interruption and capture people and keep them on your video for, for, for the period of time where that video lasts. A few seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, you should be able to pass the message across within that short period of time. So embrace videos, all right? Embrace videos for your advert. Create more videos. Create more explanatory videos. Create more explanatory videos, more demonstration videos. As someone who is selling a product or a service, your videos should be able to demonstrate the benefits of what you are selling. When people click on your video to watch, what is this person saying? Let that attention that you have captured, let it be worth it. Be able to sell them on your video. When you're able to sell them on your video, they will not even need to read most of what you have written, right? They will just likely, they will just likely go ahead to make further inquiries and even make a purchase. All right? So let your video be clear, be, be direct, be simple and easy to understand, but let it also have details, details of your product or the service you are promoting. Embrace videos. Videos are the new thing and the videos are becoming mainstream. So embrace videos. Number three is that you have to use more user-generated content. It's called UCG, UGC, UGC in marketing, right? In marketing, we refer to this as UGC, user generated content. This content, they look very organic. They look believable. They look relatable. They don't look like adverts. That's why you see many people paying TikTok influencers to create videos for their brands and stuff like that. So those videos look very organic. You call your customers or your prospect or whoever is using your product or service, let them give you a feedback. Let them give you a feedback, a review. You collate these reviews and use these reviews to run adverts. You understand? Now, other people who are watching the adverts are seeing that there are people like them who are enjoying your products, who are enjoying your services, and who are getting value for their money. And so they would also be prepared, they would also like or love to get involved in your product and your service, to use your service or to buy your product. So when you use this user-generated content, it makes your advert look more organic. Your advert does not look like adverts anymore. People are seeing people like them using your products. People are seeing people like them enjoying your services. Because you are not the one speaking anymore. It is the users who are using your products or services are the ones speaking. They are the ones speaking on your behalf. They are the ones giving reviews great reviews their benefits the, why they love your brand why they love your product how your service is how you are treated them how the culture your organizational culture how it is peaceful to them how it has helped them to improve on their life and stuff like that right so this user generated content look more organic look more relatable look more believable and does not look like an ad in any way So you should make more efforts to reach out to your prospects, to your customers, to people who have used your products. Ask them for reviews. Ask them for video reviews, for picture reviews. They should leave comments. They should leave reviews. You collate these reviews and use these reviews to what? To create adverts for your business. Number four, you have to look beyond the metrics. Honestly, these days, Facebook ads can be under-reporting, all right? And sometimes they can over-report. You will, you will notice that Facebook will record on your dashboard 
that you have made five sales. But you know that you have not made any sale. Okay? Sometimes you are going to make 10 sales and you will record that you have made just two sales. So it's the inconsistency there is too much. It's so you have to stop paying attention to these metrics, right? And focus on the results that you are getting from the ad because these results are things you can control, you can confirm. Right? Sometimes you can see that this ad is getting more click-through rates, but you're not seeing results. So what are you going to do with click-through rates? What are you going to do with click-through rates when what you need is results? This ad is getting, it's getting more views, more stuff, but you are not getting the sales, you're not getting results. Focus on what the end point is. The end point is the results you want to get. How do you get the result? Look beyond the metrics. Sometimes the metrics, the reports from the metrics are not correct. Sometimes the reports from the metrics are incorrect. Okay? But the results don't lie. So look at the results. See how you can improve on the results and focus on getting results. I have seen the situation where Facebook will report that you have made five sales, whereas you have not made any sale. And you wonder, where are the five sales? Sometimes you make 20 sales and you come on your dashboard and you are seeing 10 sales that you have made. But you know that you have made more than 10 sales. This shows that there's inconsistency in the metrics that Facebook is displaying for you. But your result is saying a different thing. Focus on getting results that you can confirm, you can control, you can tweak, and you can work with. The fifth one is that you have to spend more money on ads. There are no two ways about it. Ads is media buying. You are bidding. It's a game of bidding. It's a bidding game. The highest bidder will always get the higher opportunity to reach more people. All right? Facebook ad works this way. When you give Facebook money, Facebook is going to show your adverts to people. All right? So it appears now that the higher the number, the higher the, you, the, higher the amount you spend on the ads, the higher the number of people your ad is likely to reach. And you know that sales is a game of numbers. The more numbers you cover, the higher chances of conversion. If your advert is reaching 1,000 people in a day, and out of the 1,000 people, only five is purchasing, or only two is purchasing, it means that if you can reach 5,000 people, it will increase the number of people who are going to purchase from you. If out of 1,000 people, three purchase from you, it means that most likely that out of 5,000 people, you may get 15 people to purchase from you because 1,000 people gave you three. 5,000 may, may give you 15 or 10. So the higher the number of people you can reach with your adverts, then the higher your chances of converting some of these people, just very tiny number of them, into paying customers. Okay? So you need to start spending money on ad. You have to start seeing advertising as an investment and not an expense because truly advertising your business showing your business to more people promoting your offers is an investment a very good and necessary investment if you want to make sales and grow your business all right the era of spending one thousand on ads and all those kinds of money you know it's gone learn to create budget for advertising and stick to your budget and also be flexible with your budget so that when there is a need to increase your budget you should increase your budget so yes please spend more money on ads because the higher you spend the higher chances of reaching more people and the higher chances of converting some of these people into paying customers number six build a list listen you cannot depend on facebook forever there was a time facebook whatsapp instagram was down people were complaining business owners were complaining they were people lost money right but that's that's it you cannot control these platforms but if you have your own list email list that you can control if the email platform goes down you take your list to another platform all right but always build a list when you when you run an advert try to have it at the back of your mind that you need to sell to these people often more and more so you need to keep con constant contact with them have a list of people you can market to whenever you wish to market. All right? Build your own tribe. Build your own community. Have a database that you have a control over because you do not have the control over Facebook. 
you don't have control over Instagram advertising. Your followers can be one million, and tomorrow Instagram will disband your account, or we or Instagram is going to block your account, and then you have lost everything. You have lost your followers. You have lost everything. You have lost your source of livelihood, right? But they cannot ban your list. They cannot. If you have an email list, they cannot take it away from you because it is yours. So please build a list. It could be an email list. It could be a WhatsApp list. Yeah. Make sure you build a list, an avenue whereby you can reach out to people who are interested in your offer whenever you want to reach out to them. It makes marketing easier. It's, it's cost effective and it makes marketing also cheaper. And of course, there is money in lists. The more the number of people on your list, the higher the sales you are likely to make if you have a very good offer. So please build the list. Number seven is explore other channels of advertising. Facebook is not the only advertising channel. Yes, Facebook might be the biggest channel at the moment, but they're not the only ones. So you can reach more of these other channels, reach a fresh audience, a fresh set of people, new, a new set of people with your product, with your services, with your offer. Explore other channels. There's Google, there's YouTube, there are banner ads, there are influencer marketing, there are different channels of advertising that you can use. Do not depend solely on Facebook because if they disappoint you, it means your business will be handicapped. All right? That's why I said you should build a list also because you cannot, be, you cannot build your own business on top of another person's land. If the landlord wakes up one day and says, you know what, I, I don't need your business here, get out, get out of here, they will kick you out and you are out of business. Okay? So have your list and explore other channels of advertising. Then compare results and see how you can tweak and improve on all these things. If you practice these seven stuff the way I have explained them now, I can assure you that you are going to get better results from your adverts, from your marketing, from your promotions, and you are going to make more sales. You are going to grow your business. You are going to enjoy running business. Okay, please like this video. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section. I'm here to attend to your questions and answer you. Share this video also with anyone, as many people you know, you'll find it helpful. Thank you. If you have any contributions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you have questions, I am here to answer you, right? Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Cheers.